Hey, what's up guys? It's Yvonne, and today I wanted to go over what a tracking pixel is, how it can benefit you, and how to set it up using ClickFunnels, all right, so that you can see the results on your Click Magic. So what a tracking pixel is, is it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny little part of any web page uh, that fires whenever someone clicks that web page. So what our plan is, is to put a tracking pixels on the page following your main kind of subscription page. So for example, your landing page where we indicated uh, to the people, please put in your name and your email address. In order for them to proceed to the thank you page, they have to put that information in, right? So after they put that in, when they land on the thank you page, our pixel will fire and we will know that they successfully subscribed. So we will know the percentage of people that clicked, what percentage subscribed. So that's that. So how it can benefit you is if you know your percentages of people that go through your funnel, where people are stopped and how many people go where, you know what part of your funnel you should fix. So if you have 100% of your people that land on your landing page subscribe, that's a good sign, right? That means you, sh you should probably keep your landing page as is. Now, if you have a 100 page of people subscribe that land on your landing page, but then you have a 1% chance of people uh, click, click on the link on our thank you landing page, if 1% if of the people say, yes, let me see what else is available, then maybe you should think your, uh, you should change your thank you page. Maybe there, there's so something you should edit, right? Maybe something's not right. So um, that's basically the idea. So maybe when I show you, you will get hopefully a better idea of what it is. So I will go here to this gear icon. So click on track conversions under the link name that you want to change for us is diabetes. So I'll click here, track conversions. So here they have these three. They have sales tracking pixel, action tracking pixel, and engagement tracking pixel. They're not in order. So don't put your sales tracking pixel on your thank you page. I'm not sure why they're like that, but basically the way to remember it is just look here. It says A for action, engagement, E, e for engagement, S for sales. So in that order, okay? So after someone goes on your th thank you page from signing in, that would be action. So we need to copy this. And we need to put this on our thank you landing page. So I will go here back to ClickFunnels, go to edit, and we'll go to our thank you page. We'll go edit page, and we should put this code in the footer, sorry, in the, in the header, <laughs> but um, there is some problem where the website, uh, there there's a little error sometimes if you put it in the, in the footer, in the header, she's So we should put it in the footer for now and, and, and it works fine for me, okay? So I'm just gonna paste it here. I'll click save. Now just to remain consistent with our other videos, I'm gonna put the same tracking pixel on our other page because as we discussed in this video, we can only do two pages at a time in ClickFunnels. We can only split this those. So in order, as we discussed, for us to do more than two pages, we had to uh, create a different funnel, all right? So I'm just going to put the link here as well, which is tracking codes. There you go. I'm going to paste that. I will save it. Do not forget to save. We'll click exit. And now what we have done is we have put our tracking pixels on both of those, well, on both of those funnels, which is basically just the thank you page, right? We put it on the thank you page. So when someone subscribes and they go to the thank you page, we know that those people successfully subscribe because that's the only way they could go to the thank you page. So let me click on this link now and I will, I'll create a fake email like ASDF, you know, at Gmail and let's see where that leads us. So I'm probably, I'll just open a new, new window for this. And here's this. So I'll say, show me the video. I'll put in my name as ASDF. That is not my name. <laughs> and I'll click check out video now and this will take us now you know it says thank you this is going to take us to the sales page Hi, now the sales my name is Reed Wilson yeah. the sales page I have no control over it wasn't made by me okay so we'll go a little bit into more detail as to how you can set up your tracking pixels uh, in this case but for now let's just go back here Let's click refresh and let's see what happens. So as you can see now, it says action conversion rate 100%. What does that mean? That means 100% of the people that landed on your landing page subscribed. And we know that because the only way how they could go on your thank you page 
is by subscribing. You can't just click, yes, take me to the next page without putting your email address. Remember, we said required. So that's basically how you set up tracking pixels, guys. So for, as I mentioned, uh, for the sales pages and for the sales order pages, we don't have control over it if we're doing a ClickBank product. So what we should do um, is we should message the vendor and we should give them these codes and ask them to please set up the codes for their um, kind of sales page so we know how many people clicked on our thank you page and put it on their sales order page so we know how many people bought the item so that we can track everything here all right um, if you do make your own sales pages and your own sales pages on click funnels i have a page where not my uh, sales order but i do have a funnel where i have my entire sales page thank you page all that um, and it tracks nicely for me so if you have your own sales page all you do is you take your link here uh, again you go to track conversions and put in this engagement tracking pixel in your you can try the header see what it looks like uh, but if it if, if you notice that your click funnels page looks a bit screwed up after that just put it in your footer section of your custom tracking code um, and that will track how many people landed on that page after clicking on the page that um, came before it, right? So in this case, it would be our thank you page, for example. So um, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to leave down any um, comments, questions, concerns down below. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next videos.